So hello there, this is Tuomas of Ari and I'm Troy from Ari. I'm Johanna from Ari and you're listening or watching the La Cons Radio. For me, the dream has always been there ever since I heard Troy St. Thomas's music. I've felt this great urge to do something on the plane of music together. Like, it's been a, well, dream ever since I can remember. And um, yeah, well, it's taken a bit of time, hasn't it? But then again, time doesn't really come into the picture. It's, it's well, the first matter. song called Aphrodite Rising was already written by Troy back in 2011. So it's been marinating mm -hmm. six, seven years already. And then when we decided to take a year off with Nightwish, it kind of occurred to us that, hold on, we have nothing next year. She's having a break from her solo thing. So how about we try to finally realize this yeah. Ari thing? And uh, you used the word project, and that's the word that we used until last year too, but it's become something much bigger than a project. It's an actual entity, it's a real band, and this is not going to be just a one-time thing. Um, I think we'll be doing music, albums, and even live shows at some point until yeah. forever. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it has three meanings, the word Ari. Of course, the Patrick Rothfuss um, books, um, Thomas and Johanna are big fans of those books, uh, but I'd never read them. It was news to me, <laughs> so I had no idea. But uh, I thought it was because Thomas and Johanna came up with the, the name, and uh, I thought it was beautiful because my reading of the name is from the word uh, aura, which is um, from, I think it's Greek, I think it's a Greek Latin Middle English word meaning emanation and golden atmosphere that comes off something, which I, th I think and still think uh, absolutely uh, it, it, it epitomises what we do. That word, auri, aura, whatever. And it also means it's a name as well in Finland. Mm -hmm. And Johanna's, part of Johanna's name is, is auri as well. So uh, when you put all of those three things together, it, it does actually... Um, it, it embraces all three of us, not only as people, but musically as well. The name of the wind. Of the wind. And okay. wise man's fear also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of influential guy. <laughs> <laughs> he is, yeah. But yeah, he, we just adore his way of writing and his way of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And like Anything that inspires you, anything that goes into you, has to come out one form or another. And that's the case here as well. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to, to yeah. um, uh, it's important that we, we, we say that it, it's uh, it's not conceptual. The Harry yeah. album. There are obvious there are obvious influences from Patrick Rothfuss on on three songs of the eleven, but there are eleven songs. And um, the Rothfuss influence is in there, but it's it's kind of natural that that would be in there. We're, we're, mm. All of our influences come out in the music, no, no matter where they come from, but they're not so explicit, which is why we've we're, we're generally loath to go into detail about stuff because we don't want to uh, discolor people's you know reaction to the music. We want them to um, have a nice clean slate, as it were. Yeah, well, our fifth album is about to be released in <laughs> 2073, um, so watch out for that. It's, it's, we're really pleased with it. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I've got a cold. It's, it's, affecting my, it's affecting my mind. I believe Ari will have a long future ahead of it. I mean, for me personally, it was a bit more like a project, still like three, four years ago, but now when we actually got together and did the album, it was a revelation to me as well that this is something much, much bigger and much more important 
than just a project. Uh, this band has no leader, mm -hmm. it has no front woman, front lady, it has no producer, it really is an entity. Three minds, mm -hmm. <coughs> one mind, and manifesting itself as the music that we do. And it's really become an important part of all of our lives. Yeah. So I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be doing no. album number five in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really hard to put music into words, isn't it? And um, well, yeah, it is. <coughs> but the, yeah, it's it's really rare to actually be on the same page about music, making music together. Yeah, There's yeah. always these different opinions when it comes to music. Usually. But with us, it's been like smooth sailing all along. Definitely, and I think that, that is going right back to the, um, uh, the beginning. It, it is that affinity between us that, uh, that caused this to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, that we all really wanted to work on some music that was outside of what we usually do. But music that we're really interested in, interested in exploring, and uh, that's part of it. But it's a, it's even more, uh, it's wider than that as well. We uh, we love working together on stuff. We love uh, we love the same kind of musical expression, and uh, Ari was a culmination of, of, uh, of six, seven years. How long was it? Six, something like six, six or seven years of. Um, of it always being there in the back of our, off somewhere in the distance, always reminding us that it needed to uh, become a reality. Yeah. And it has now. Okay. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Yeah, well, I started roughly 10 years ago, my um, solo career. I've been, well, pretty much singing ever since. It's something that sort of just happened. I wasn't really planning on getting into music like none of us did. But um, I'm really happy to be here now and it's sort of like taking me in on this wonderful journey that is culminating here and now. And um, yeah, I'm now looking back to all the years and all the albums I've made, I... I think they've been like these wonderful little stepping stones to here and now, to this Auri band and what it is and means. It's, um, I'm really happy to be, um, I mean, as an artist you always try to channel your, your deepest, you know, the landscapes of your inner mm -hmm. <laughs> being mm -hmm. and um, yeah, finally I feel like this is that sort of, you know, a blank page with utter freedom at our disposal to um, be able to really discover those hidden depths of your inner being and channel that into music. And to do that collectively mm. is something to really write songs about. <laughs> yeah, Johanna has, has a tendency to hit every nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> That, that is it, really. Both of us were huge fan of fans of her voice. Yeah, we were long before we ever met her. Yeah, so it was a, an absolute yeah. dream on our part as well to to begin this wonderful journey that we've we've been on, and that is uh, an endless road for us as well. You know, we we we've got nothing to um, nothing to fright to scare us off the road. The path that we've we've chosen to go with Ari you know we've got massive things going on as well as Ari you know um, obviously Nightwish is uh, to almost describe it as a behemoth a massive giant thing which it is and it's it's the most beautiful beautiful thing Nightwish it's, it's just joyous and it doesn't affect Ari it's nothing to do with Ari uh, Nightwish you can run two two different things at the same time. There's there's no problem with that. So we see Ari as, as this kind of luxury yacht that's off on the sea. And there's, there's a giant tanker called Nightwish over there, and we're kind of going oh, you know, flying around. 
and uh, but sure enough, the tank is going to go right. You two, we get back on here for a while, and we'll go. Yeah, all right. Yeah, great. You're really good with metaphors. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. What an brilliant. Yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> you little poet, you. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll. I think to celebrate <laughs> that, I'll blow my nose again. <laughs> <sighs> oh, metaphors always make me blow my nose. <laughs> That's another metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start writing those down. Yeah. Metaphor man. <laughs> <laughs> Try it on <laughs> Rent a metaphor. <laughs> Rent. <laughs> yeah, so, but, sorry, oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, oh, God, what happened to my voice there? What? Oh, I, I sounded like. <coughs> Minnie Mouse for a moment. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Must be my call. Anyway, sorry, we're back with you now. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And in yeah. fact, I actually played Whistle on one of uh, Johanna's solo albums. Yeah. A long time ago, mm-hmm. back in 1933, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So when, I think it was then, wasn't it? Yeah. And I did a bit of poetry reciting for Troy's solo you album. You did? I yeah. wrote a song for Johanna's mm-hmm. solo album. So, Years ago, so it's yeah. been there t- yeah. since forever. Since, yeah, for so a long, long time. Mm. This is just the culmination point. Of, yeah, how do you call it? That's it. That's culmination. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, we do intend yeah. to. We do intend to do it live. It's it's absolutely inevitable, and it's vital that we do it live because mm. we're so excited about uh, realizing this this particular dream that we've got. I just um, saw a vision. There's going to be a world tour in the spring of. 2022. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it right there. Yeah. Yeah. About right. Around there. Incredibly, it just appeared. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, about 2022. We're going to go. 50, 60 shows around around Europe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to happen. In really weird places like at the pyramids in Egypt and Mm. Machu Picchu and. Blakey Ridge. Blakey Ridge. And inside the McDonald's in Helsinki. (laughs) (laughs) It's just everywhere we're just going to play. It's it's cold. It's it's affecting it's affecting my mind. Oh, 